friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. I am back with a very quick um, unboxing. So, um, many of you know that I went to that um, Planner Delight camp um, with Heather Kell and Marielle, and I'm terrible, I don't know her last name, and I'm so sorry. Um, she is on Instagram, and if I think of it, I will list them below. And so, I was watching on Heather's um, channel that she had received one of these Tombow Mono um, boxes. And all of us love our Tombow, you know, brush pins and Tombow glue and Tombow tape runner and all that good stuff. But um, I didn't realize that they had started doing subscription boxes and or, or just box releases. I don't know if they're subscription. I'm saying that without knowing. Sorry, guys. So, um, anyways, in our class at Planner Delight, we did a lettering class. And I've never really shared this before because my handwriting is atrocious. I mean, I swore I would never teach first grade because handwriting is such a big deal in first grade. And I have never taught first grade in all these years. And all the ages I've taught, I've taught first graders, but it was in a either mixed class or, you know, something along that line. But I used to do calligraphy years ago, and I loved calligraphy. And I'm talking about the old-fashioned calligraphy. And I know, I know everybody's into the new lettering, and I love it, but it is not something that my brain or hands can do. It just seems like I keep trying and trying and trying, and I'm just like, you know, what's the definition of insanity? You keep doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Well, I decided that I'm going to go back to my roots. I restocked this week. Matter of fact, I've got a package in there I need to open from Amazon and I've ordered, you know, my handwriting paper. I have pens. Um, I picked up another couple of pens and I'm excited. And mainly because I have just churned away at what I wanted to do for our granddaughter. Did I want to do an Creative Memories album? Did I want to do a 9 by 9 album? What did I want to do? And probably what I will do for each grandchild is make a Creative Memories album of their highlights of their year. But this is her first year. I mean, she's two and a half months old. You and I both know every day she changes. And my sweet daughter and son-in-law send us a picture almost every day. If not, they send us five in one whack. And when I go there and t see the baby, I literally walk out with like 50 pictures. I mean, it, and then I have to weed them out and it kills me, you know. Or my favorite one is the one that's blurred. I have this one picture of when I was there last week and I'm holding her and she's laughing and I'm laughing and she's blurred a little bit, but I don't even care. It's one of my favorite pictures. I'm not blurred, but she is because she must have moved. And it really taught me a couple of things. Number one, I need a better phone. Number two, I want to get a better camera for y'all. Um, I received a comment, and guys, I'm way behind my comments, but I promise you I'm reading them. Also, all of you that are sending me emails, I've got your emails. I'm going to be gone again to go take care of my granddaughter um, early next week, so I will take that and work on that there. Um, I'm literally filming today, and it's late in the day. I am working on the camp bundles tomorrow. We have not received our, our, our mail. I even went today to check. Um, and I'm going to have them labeled ready to go. If it's not here by Tuesday when mail comes, I'm going to seal them up and pop them in the mail to y'all. Also, all of the drawing people that have contacted me, all of your drawings will go out at the same time as well. So, I just wanted to let you guys know, I'm not forgetting you guys and I want you to know some of you are so amazing you send me pictures of what you've done you've sent me so much and I I just can't tell you how much that encourages me last week it was one family emergency after another it was every day there was something for me or a phone call or the kind of stuff that you hang up the phone and you're just you're bawling you're you're thankful to God for what he's doing but you're sad to hear of the decisions having to be made and we have a family member with dementia and, and they had to put him in a nursing facility this week. And when his wife called me, I was so humbled, number one, she called me. And number two, 
But she was so at peace. And I told her, I said, that's such a God thing. I'm so happy for you. So, um, but I want to get back to my roots. So going back to why I'm wanting to do all this lettering, because of my family. It's because I love my family so much. I, and there's not enough of me to go around, but I can make them things. And I literally, when we lost our first daughter, I made a memorial page and framed it of uh, the day she was conceived, you know, the day she was received in God's hands and how much we loved her and put a scripture with that. And I want to do that. And I don't want to do things like that, but I want to do keepsakes for family members, if that makes any sense. And when I do all of my um, scrapbooking, I would love to, to do some of the more beautiful handwriting. I remember years ago, I got this document from this lady who was a secretary to a doctor, and I was like, oh my goodness gracious, did you go to school to learn that handwriting? She goes, no, I just, I looked it up, I saw it in a book, and I copied it, and I practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced. I don't think I could ever do what she did. But I do have to say how excited I am to have something to throw in my bag whenever I've got to leave at that much notice. And that's what's really happening right now. So let's open this up after all that chatter. And let me show you what's in this box. And many of you have probably seen it already. But um, hold on. I, I've been cleaning in here, guys. Even though the washi is still falling off on me. I, my youngest and I spent yesterday and we literally took out half of what was in here. And then what was left, I set up in carts over here. I've got one for um, lettering, one for Bible journaling, which they kind of blend together. And then one for um, uh, my happy planner. Uh, planning, not just, ha well, it's 99% happy planner now. I'm going to be honest. So... <laughs> And by the way, for those of you who've waited so kindly on all your drawings, you're all getting some extra. I know. I'm super excited. Um, I am super thrilled for those of you that reached out to me and followed through like I asked. And you have been so fantastic. And you are getting something extra in your bundle. So I, I hope you're encouraged by that because I'm thankful for you being so patient. So let's open it up. But, but it is, this table is the last thing I work on today gonna get this tablecloth off praise the lord so when you guys are saying it's kind of dark in here i did put extra lighting in i am going to change this from dark to light and i'm going to be doing some things like that so um, because the table is a mahogany i'm going to go ahead and put a light tablecloth on it so and then pretty soon we move out i mean there's not much left and once i get the camp out and i get this week behind me I need this table empty because I have to do all the tax work, which will also go with me on to my daughter and son-in-laws, depending on how long I have to stay there. And I'm at least going to get two years worth of tax um, prep done. And yeah, so um, it's it's a happening. It's a happening, my friends. So here we go. So this is the Tomba VIP Club. And I, again, did not know it was happening. I love this paper. I love the confetti. I love the celebration. So, and they're just some of the cute things. So you get a mono drawing pens, six sizes, three of them are new. You get exclusive Tombow playing cards. These are so charming. You get three new celebration dual brush pens. It's a 10 pack, new colors for any of you who like the brush pens. So, um, and then share it with the world. So I am super excited and let me open it up for you guys. So let me see if I can put that down. I think I can. Now, hopefully you can see that better. So, let's see here. Creativity, creativity self-expression. Okay, I'm going to show you guys these first because these are just so different. They're not pins. They're playing cards. Guys, I love to play cards. I love to play cards. It's crazy. When I was a little girl, my I grew up across from a golf course, and, and my parents were part of, it was a club of some sort, you know, like a golf club or whatever. It wasn't the fanciest one where I grew up, but it was very nice. I mean, I'm, you know, I'd look back at that and think, I was so spoiled. I could go to the beach anytime. I could go to a pool anytime. I had, not only did we have the, the where we could go down the street to the pool, but I had friends with pool. I was just so spoiled. And I, you know, you don't know what you have until you don't have it. And living out here, I never thought we wouldn't have a pool um, at our end-of-life house. 
And because we're surrounded by farm fields, I refuse to put a pool in because of the chemicals. So, yeah, I know. And you don't think about that, but it's that way. So, look at the joker, and excuse my hand. I've got, I've got an owie, but I'm trying to let it heal with air. So, here's the pins. Here's the jackets that say create. Isn't that cute? And those are all the spades. So, and look at this guy. Oh, wait a minute. That art is by Grace Meyer. I'm, I'm familiar with her, but beautiful. This is by Katie Smith. These are all the hearts, and I love those. And this is by Jessica Mack, and these are all the clubs, and I love that. And I have to say, when Heather did this, she said this was her favorite. I think this or the jean jacket is my favorite, and this is by Adrienne Castleton. And so, hold on. Mm, I love jean jackets, so it's really a tough. It's I'm really like 50-50 there. I love those two. And then these are all the diamonds. And then there's the Joker again with the Tombow Mono, or Tombow pins. So, I'm so used to saying Tombow Mono glue. <laughs> but I love these, and these just say cheers to 2020. How much fun is that? I am just so happy. These are going in my bag. Because I can play Saul, I can play anything. My great-grandmother, at 100-and-something years old, was sitting there, and bless her heart, I mean, she played solitaire all that I can remember, and... At the end of life, she had had so many strokes and seizures that she had lost a lot of her um, mental acuity. And so, but she was still trying to be, play solitaire with like maybe 10 cards because she kept losing them. And I re remember seeing her thinking, you know what? She's still trying to do something. There's nothing wrong with that, you know? So anyways, okay, so here's the new Tombow pens and here are the brush markers. So let's get this out of the way, my friends. And let us play. Okay, so I am super excited. Ah, and I didn't, did I put paper out in here? I did not. What is wrong with me? So here I am trying to get everything cleaned up. I, I think it'll write on this. This is the back of a sticker thing from Christmas. Um, I, I'm literally getting everything put away to the point where I don't have anything. <laughs> so... But that's okay. It's a good place to be in, right? <laughs> if it isn't one thing, it's another. Okay, so let's try to get these. Okay, so here's an 02, 03, 05, so 02, 03, um, 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 01, oh my gosh, that's tiny, 04, 05, 08. Okay, so let's scooch this back and let's start. So this is an 01. This is an, ooh, boy, it's tiny. These are the ones that always make me nervous, like I'm going to bust them because I write too hard. You know what I mean? So this is an O2, and it's a little bit thicker. The other one is very delicate, but it'll be fun to play with, you know, on certain kind of projects. A Tombow O3. And I'll show you where you can see that on here. Yeah, you can see I really do need to work on that handwriting, can't you? So here's where it has the number, okay? And these are drawing pens, so that is even better. So if you are somebody who sketches or draws a lot, these are totally on your wish list, I'm sure. So this is an 04. So I love that. I do like the 04. That I start to feel comfortable with. And then this one is the 05. And sometimes you can see the difference, and sometimes you can't. And it's really the way you feel when you hold the pen that I notice. You know, tips are funny. It's They change the way we hold pens, that's for sure. So how about I actually try? This one is an 08. I love that 08. Love it. So you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 8. Love that. So now let's look at these. Okay, two pinks and like a flesh, you know, like, you know, if you're doing faces. <gasps> love, love, love. Okay, so you know it has a brush end and like a felt end. So here is this and here is this. Oh, I love that. And this is 925. 
love that. So, and I'm going to put them back in here upside down so I won't repeat them. And this one, let's see, here is, ooh, love that. God, that color is so pretty. And this one is 743. I really like that one. I mean, a lot. I have to be honest, when I saw these colors, I, you know, because I'm really not into buying any more kits, but I saw this one and I thought, ooh, I really like this one. So this one you can hardly see. It's four, 451. It is a very, very light blue. And this would be perfect, I would think, for something you're highlighting or, I don't know, where you're just trying to add a little extra color in something. And this one is 020. Six. I had to be sure. I was looking at that upside down. It's kind of like a goldy mustard, you know, without glitter. Kind of like that. And this one is that flesh color, 850. I bet we're not going to be able to see it very well. So, let's see. Yeah, no. This is just one you're going to color in one with. So, this is eight. You probably can't even see that. But it, it's something I would use in doing, like, girls and faces. I would totally use this. Okay. And then, ooh, another pretty pink. And this one is 723. So, 723. I like that one. I think, I think especially these two, I would get a lot of use out of. Now, the other one I might get use out of, again, if I were working on girls. So, this one is 880 kind of a kind of a reddish orange yeah I would, I mean, I would say that's more orange actually so and then here is a fun green it is 245 and here's that brush and I'm sorry I'm trying to go quick for you guys because I don't want to take up your time I chatted too much at the beginning so and this one is 452 and you know there are places and I'm sure even on Tombow I you probably can order these independently so I just went into a place in Austin well I was waiting for my son Ooh, that's a pretty yellow it's kind of hard to see let's see here oh no it really does it's bright it's bright for me I don't know if it is for you guys but this is zero five five I think that's hard for y'all to see, but I can see it because it's really pretty. Um, and I was picking up some pins independently. And, um, I mean, if you guys want me to share that, I will. But, yeah. So, here's all the Tombow Mono Kit with a bunch of colors. Fun pins. Let me just do it like that. There you go. And the playing cards. So, not bad at all, and I can't, I can't remember the price of these kits. I think it came in, it's less than $30, which when you look at ordering just a set of pins or even each one of these pins independently, seriously, this is amazing, great price. So, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, we'd love to have you, and be sure you hit that notification bell. It tells you when new videos come up. All right, my friends, I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. Thanks for stopping by. I'll be back in just a minute, and we're going to finish up all of our neat, neat Bible devotional 2020 vision. So if you haven't been watching that series, please go take a chance. Take a look at it. It is really amazing. It's by the will for God, and we're loving it. So, all right, my dear sweet friends, I pray your day is blessed, creative, and lovely. I will be talking to you all soon. Love you. Bye-bye.